hit goals. Who I regard as probably the best games journalist going out there. I don't agree with a lot of his views, by the way, but um, Jason Schreier uh, finally has revealed his new book, uh, Press Reset. And it's all about, you know, where companies have failed or resurrected in, um, or what people have done post gaming in uh, the video game industry. So, yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting book. Like, I think it's such a cool perspective to take um his original book like sorry his first book that he published uh blood sweat and pixels for me and i've read read actually sadly enough a lot of books on gaming and the gaming industry to me it's by far the best game like book around gaming um probably the only other one that i think that comes to mind really quickly that's up there is masters of doom i don't know have you read both of those when i haven't read either of them but i've always wanted to um i'm actually going to pick up uh blood sweat and pixels and when oh, cool. when i'm back uh because i own i find it tough to read in any situation that's not like on a train or something like yeah 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 and so i haven't had yeah, the I opportunity to be on the train in a long time and i will say i'm not <laughs> rushing out to get back on a train anytime soon but when <laughs> not, that, not where you live no but, but <laughs> yeah. when uh when that is the case, then that's mm. that's what I'm looking forward to reading when I'm when I'm doing that. Yeah, both of the books are awesome. Like Masters of Doom, it's probably like just better because it's just like sorry, not better, but it's it's more cohesive because it's just one story about you know ID and everything about it. And it's so fascinating because I just absolutely love the early ID games. Um, but yeah, Blood Sweat and Pixels so good, such an interesting insight into developers and i think this one might be even better because you know he would probably even have more access than he did when he wrote that first book um and you know taking the perspective of like things that have failed or moved on it, it's just interesting because you know supposedly in the book he's talking to people who have left the industry so i i think it's going to always be interesting to hear their take so the book's coming out uh on the 11th of may 2021 and I think this might be the first time ever in my life I might pre-order a book and actually um, read it when it comes out because uh, I really, really, I, I couldn't put his first book down. So so he's got, he's mentioned, I uh, may know that uh, it's got, um, it includes 38 studios, so Kingdoms of Amalur. And I, were they covered in Blood, Sweat and Pixels as well? Yeah. Yeah, they were. Did, <laughs> did. Did that mm. book, or I hope this one does, if it didn't talk to Kurt Schilling at all, you know, the baseball player that lost all his money? Because that would be, I, I'd love to hear, like, his take, uh, if he hasn't already given it, maybe he has, about, like, going all in and having it kind of fall fall out, you know, from under him. I don't think he did in the first one. So he did cover it, but I don't recall it like that. I feel like that would have been stuck that something that would have stuck in my mind. Um, but yeah, who knows? In this one, he might. Mm. It's going to be interesting. So. so talking about Doom and books. Um, so local library. Um, you know, and it used to be your local library as well. Um, yes. It did. Do you ever remember that they had a, a huge Doom book there? Yeah. And it was yeah, like was the gigantic one, all about Doom modding, and it even had yeah. like a, a CD that came with it with all these like Alien Doom and all this awesome Doom. <laughs> up. When I remember seeing that, and I can't remember if I borrowed it or if I just used to look at it in the library, probably just in the library. Um, yeah, and that was the coolest book. You're looking at like, oh man, because back then, like the idea of modding a game, like to me, was a brand new concept. Um, yeah, you started hearing people about, you know doing using the map editors for duke 3d and all that stuff um but that was like oh my god these people like who are these people doing this stuff you know it was really cool yeah i borrowed that book and you know i did some light modding and stuff like that like i mean that was so such a cool time period oh, where you could do that do you, kind remember, of do you remember that one uh the simpsons mod for for doom yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool that was awesome <laughs> all of those mods were really sick and then the one that made me laugh the most was now, in retrospect, reading Masters of Doom, uh, when people modded in uh, like the Alien franchise into Doom, yeah, yeah, and then essentially, like, they were meant to make an Alien game, like, that was the initial kind of idea behind Doom. Um, and then it fell through from an IP perspective, which is kind of wild to think that 
Doom might have been an alien game. What was and like don't know how that would have hit like well or not. What, who knows? What was that first person shooter on PlayStation? I think it was Alien Trilogy. I think it was. Um, I think that's what it's called. I so don't recall yeah, I just remember name. like we had a, a mate of ours um, that we finished before that because was all over the PlayStation stuff, and uh, he loved that game. That and I think it's mm. Entombed was uh, another first person shooter on PlayStation. Um, yeah. Anyway. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that as well. I was obsessed about that. Yeah. Yeah, so no, really cool book. Like, I'm glad that you're going to read um, his first book. And yeah, read Masters of Doom as well. Like, that's they're the, to me, like the clear, like, standouts from a gaming industry perspective. And I hope, like, more people write books around gaming because it sort of deserves that, that level of stature, I think, um, along with movies and things like that. And uh, speaking, accidentally, of a segue into film, 